What is going on everybody? Darcizzle and Pudding coming at you today. Today we're doing something a little different. We are not on either one of our boats and we are on a local drift boat. This is Living on Island Time, correct? Yeah, we're on uh, Living on Island Time. Yes. They got a fleet of boats down here in, in uh, Boynton, in Lantana. Lantana. And uh, we haven't been on a drift boat in like... Ever. Forever. Forever, so we're pretty excited. Actually, the last time I was on this boat was probably 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, Nine it's a kids. one to dark trip. So uh, let's get them going. Yeah, got an afternoon trip. We're all getting rigged up, ready to go. And we got a nice crowd on the boat. So I'm excited to get out there and catch some fish. All right, we're gonna head to the inlet. One reason we're on this boat today because it's blowing like crazy. So uh, it could be a little sporty out here. Go sizzles, coating up. <laughs> no joke, no joke. Woo! <laughs> Gnarly. All right, guys, we have arrived at the first fishing location. It took us about half an hour or so to come out here. We're in about 100 foot of water. And I'm just using my standard bottom fishing rig here. Got a long leader with a dead sardine on the end and a J hook. So we're just gonna start fishing and see what we can get into today. Line going down, let me get a cast. I don't think so. It's hard to tell with this new rod. You feel a fish or no? Yeah, you got one? I'm not sure. Yeah, you had that far. I know, I was letting it go the whole time like you told me. We do have Woo. a fish. Somebody's got a fish. Nice. Woo! Whose is it? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? That is nice. It's mine. That's your hook, Brian. Nice. nice Brian. <laughs> Nice, Brian. Yeah, smart. One on the head. We gotta take 15 pictures of them first. <laughs> <laughs> if my job is just for God. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Just put them down. Nice job. Nice job. You gotta bring that tangle. Please start reeling up. You get tight. Give me this. Oh, oh. I think I just lost them. I think I just lost them. Yeah, that's a nice day. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Ooh, it looks like another yellowtail the way he's eating it. We'll see. I got a really stout rod. There you go, Sizzle. Let's get up here before the S word gets in. I know. Don't jinx it right now. All right, so Brian just hooked that really nice yellowtail. And now I just hooked up on a nice fish. It's pulling real nice starting to do its thing and float, come to the surface, which is what I want. Let's see what we got. You're Getting very, into some fish. You're very optimistic with that floating. See, he's floating. <laughs> he's floating right now. I'm steady reeling. Very optimistic. Steady reeling, unless you get S word. Oh, nice tail. Is that a tail? No, it's a decent, it's like a keeper. Woohoo! He's close. Nice one. That's a three or four pounder. Captain over here helping me out. Woohoo! Woo That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice. That's a keeper sizzle? Yeah. Oh yeah. All day. All day. Absolutely. Nice yeah. fish. Nice fish, guys. <laughs> so as you can see, Captain Colin over here putting us on the fish, living on island time. I'm gonna link their information down below if you guys want to come out here and do this too. But well, right like you saw, Pudding got the yellow tail and then I got the mutton back to back, baby. Hey, I just bring you guys Heck over. Yeah. You guys are doing the work, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Nice fish. There he is. I'll take it all day. Definitely a keeper. Let's get a quick pick and get lines right back in the water. He's not very big. This is the world's smallest snapper. He's still there. He is. That's a baby. That's a I know. I told you he's the world's smallest snapper. He might keep though. <laughs> I'm catching barely keeper fish. I'll take it. <laughs> Getting late out here, guys. The sun is finally set. 
and we've been catching some fish since you saw that double header we caught earlier. Uh, so we got some keeper mangroves in the boat, a keeper mangrove. vermilion. A uh, uh, zero. What, yeah, Ryan Put got that zero. zero, which is awesome. And then someone in the front caught a really big mutton, like a five, six pounder. Yeah, it was nice. And looks like Sean just hooked up right next to me. Nice. Sean's on again. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're just picking our way through the fish. We had some shark issues earlier, but we're just kind of bouncing around and trying to find some fish that are biting. But we already got dinner in the boat, so. Yeah, we got dinner in the boat, so we don't care. But you know, the the mates are so helpful, and the captain's really trying to put on fish. So you know, great boat, and uh, just having a real nice time. Super simple, because you know. You don't gotta worry about all the all your own crap. Like the guys even putting the hook, you know, the bait on the hook, you gotta worry about cleaning your boat. Hey, Brian's not used to this. It's such a pleasure of yes. like on vacation. Yes. This is like easy so, uh, fishing. So come on out. Yeah. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna cook it. Yes. But I think we got a little bit of fishing left, right? You got like another hour. Yeah. All right. So that's how I'm rigging my baits too, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. But I've got a circle hook on yeah. and then cutting the tail off a dead sardine. And Darcy's using the long leader. Right, we're using 30 pound leader and we're using a standard, Darcy standard rig. Everybody else is using a little bit different rig, but like a more of a standard uh, knocker rig. No, not a knocker rig. Fish finder. Fish finder rig, but a lightweight. And we're using a little bit heavier and Darcy's standard rig. But I'll put a little B roll here of what that is. Yeah. And uh, let's get back to fishing. Yes. Back at the house, guys, and we got a cooler full of fish. We mentioned in the video that like we didn't get to show you every single one of the fish we caught. So once again, they're in the cooler. Let me start pulling them out and we're gonna show you. Yeah, the filming, you know, I wasn't used to filming in a drift boat and it was all wacky and it got a little crazy, but we caught some good fish. This beautiful mutton. Mutton snapper. Not, like 19 That's my inches. fish, that's Brian's. Yeah, I mean, we haven't caught a nice yellowtail in forever. And again, you guys can go on that boat. It, it was so, I forgot how easy it was going on the boat. At the end of the boat. day, like, I caught that monster, that monster yellowtail. Yeah. Darcy actually came in second in the pool with this fish. So not too bad. Second place out of all those dudes. And nice sushi here. It's a zero. Okay. Don't make fun of us on these guys. <laughs> these are mangrove snappers that are totally keepers over 10 inches long. But the problem with these guys was they swallowed the hook yeah. and they were bleeding and they weren't going to survive anyway. So instead of feeding it to a shark, we decided to keep them. All right. Don't hate. Yeah. All good. All good. And mangrove snapper is one of the most delicious fish you're ever going to eat no matter where you fish. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm going to be cooking up a very special, famous snapper sauce. Oh, and a vermilion. And last but not least, the vermilion that we caught on the reef, pretty shallow, which is usually you can find these guys pretty deep, like over 200 feet of water. And I think we caught him in about 100 foot of water. So pretty cool. Also a delicious fish, bee liner. We catch big ones in Stewart too. I didn't realize this is a great catch. This is not bad. Yeah, this is not bad for a drift boat. <laughs> no, it's awesome. all, 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 all things considering with the south tide and just things not in our favor, but we still they still put us on fish. Um, and then while we got these fish out right here real quick, just want to quickly go over my Black Friday sales <gasps> that are occurring right now on my website. Hop over to thesizzleoffshore.com forward slash shop. Starting with paracord bracelets. For, of course, we still got those fish hook and anchor bra bracelets, adult and child sizes. <laughs> and there's a sale where basically you're gonna get three for the price of two. And that coupon code is 3FOR2. So you put three in your cart, use the coupon code, and you're gonna pay for two, okay? So you get one for free. Pretty awesome. Then- Three, four, two. Three, four, two. Okay, got it. And then also, <laughs> and then also 2022 calendars, freshwater and saltwater versions available, They're big all and small. My best pictures of the whole year are of her greatest fish. Yes. So go over there, head at, check it out. You don't need a code for this, but they're gonna all be 15% off today. Plus you get a free Dar Sizzle sticker with every calendar ordered today. So jump on that Oof. as well. And last but not least, Sterling Silver Pendants. I'm actually wearing a Snook Pendant today. They're all on sale anywhere between 10 and 20% off. You'll see it on the website. No code required for those, okay guys? So go ahead and support our small business. And I hand make and tie every single thing that you're gonna order. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, That's I know, but, it, it's, but it's, it's Black Friday. It's our big holiday season. All those links and codes are going to be in the video description. Yes. Because so you don't get confused. And uh, there's some other knickknacks in there for stocking stuffers, like signed 8x10s, the stickers, keychains. All kinds power, of awesome all stuff. All the power we wear, too. Yeah, all, all kinds of awesome stuff. All right. Yep. So let's get, you know, so we're going to fillet this yellowtail. Yes. Right now, and I'm going to get delicious, famous snapper sauce. Yes. All right, let's do it, Sizzle. Let's go, guys. Let me put these away. Yeah, let's get them back in cold water. All right, guys, let's dive right into gleaning this fish and get it back in the house and get some food in us because I am starving today. So just like any other fish, make sure you have a very sharp knife with you. 
using my seven inch go-to today. Just turn that blade around and I know I constantly say this, but I'm left-handed so it looks weird when I fly fish, but whatever. Just gotta deal with it. And then we're just gonna pull it off here. They're one of the easier fish to fillet because their skin is very, very thin and you're, you can rip through it easily. And then also once you cook it, it kind of just falls apart on your fork, on your plate. It's not really the firmest fish in the world. But again, any yellowtail snapper is a delicious yellowtail snapper. All right, so we just knocked off that side real quick. Same exact thing, same exact knife. Just get right in there. You can leave it on the half shell if you're gonna cook it on the barbecue, but we're not. So we're gonna skin it right off, easy peasy. Trying to keep the blade up a little up. But you can see right there, pretty good job. Knock out those pin bones. And that side of the filet is ready for cooking with pudding. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side right here real quick and then meet you guys in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Thanks so much, Dustin. <laughs> Jesus, so stop laughing at you. You're already laughing at me. I don't know. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't know. Thanks so much, Dust Sizzle, for cleaning up that mutton and that yellow, and that yummy yellow tail. <laughs> I haven't had a, we got the giggles over here at Dust Sizzle Nation, over at this Dust Sizzle house. Uh, we haven't had a nice yellow tail like that in quite a long time. We just don't target them that much. Uh, but uh, thanks a lot, and welcome guys to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. I don't have my hat on today because I took a shower. How's that? I got my hair done a little bit for you, hair club style. But today, guys, I, as we mentioned outside a little bit, we cooked Puddin's famous sauce, which of course is a sauce flagrantly stolen from other people, as all chefs do. Uh, so we got the sauce, and I fried up the fish. I will say, up the fish, and let me tell you again about the sauce. Now the sauce, the story on the sauce goes back quite a ways to when Darcy and I just started fishing together. And we went fishing actually with a well-known fella, Jimmy Nelson, who's a, a friend of ours, of course, and we went fishing with him down at Isla Murata. This is like 2012, all right? And when we went yellowtailing, actually, did some other fishing for like two days. It was great. We had a great time. First time we ever met the guy. And uh, he took us to Lazy Days. That's a restaurant right next to Bud and Mary's where you can cook your catch. And so we had them cook our catch, and there's a number of ways you can do it. One of them is this delicious butter and cream sauce, which we've recreated today. Uh, later on, we got some recipe. We started doing cooking with pudding. Our another good friend, Dave Hickson, also was privy to this recipe and he gave me some hints on it too. So this really comes from uh, Lazy Days through Dave Hickson here to us. Now here's how you make it. It's basically a butter and cream sauce. I got the B-roll of course. Starts off a little bit of oil, put in some uh, onions, heat them up. Put in some garlic, heat it up. Uh, put in a little bit of wine and you reduce that. I kind of miss, missed that step, that step today, put the wine in the, more at the end, but that's cooking with pudding for you, right? Uh, and then you're gonna, the volume of it comes from equal parts, heavy cream, of course, and butter, all right? So really how much sauce you wanna make, you're gonna judge it by that. So if you want two cups of sauce, you can do a cup of cream, a cup of butter, all right? Then you got salt and pepper, maybe some emeralds if you want, whatever spices you want. And then you do it with the taste, salt, pepper, I even like a dab of sugar. And you can put some other ingredients in here. You can put capers, you can put asparagus pieces. Today we put, uh, some delicious sun-dried tomatoes in there. So this sauce is just ready to go. Come on, we take a quick look, Sizzle. I know you got the B-roll, but uh, here it is all, all finished up. We got the fish over here, of course. Come over here, Sizzle. Look at the fish. I know they've got the B-roll of that too. I cooked the, the fish in oil. because, I, Like I said the other day, I like to get it crunchy when I'm using it with a nice sauce like that. So it has a little bit of a crunch on the fish. Soft sauce, okay? We're gonna plate. Darcy's favorite vegetable with this is aspergrass. By asparagus, of course, I mean asparagus. And that's a whole nother story. So here, we got some asparagus, some asparagus. Darcy likes to put a little base of that here. Let me get this out of the way. And the asparagus is just uh, baked in the oven or broiled in the oven and had oil on it. And I actually put uh, everything bagel spice on it. So a little different. So here you go. So we're putting some fish on here. This is mutton and yellowtail, of course. So they'll come right over here, take a look. Get on this, get on this. I lost my spoon. Now look how delicious this is, guys, when we get this on here. You see that? Look at this, guys. All right, I'll let Darcy put on some more or less if she wants. But that is restaurant ready. Bring that up to my pretty face and my wonderful hair. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna take it to the table and see what Darcy thinks. 
All right, our sizzle. I'm it's excited. Time to eat. I actually can smell the tomato, the sun dried tomato. Nice. Yeah, I still can't believe we, we haven't gotten a drip boat in that long. It was so easy. It was so, it was, it will make it so much more enjoyable. You know, usually we're out there just trying to catch these fish and trying to film. And I went on that boat like by myself actually with a friend I used to work with like eight years ago or something crazy. That was the last time I've ever been on that boat. Have you ever been on that boat? I, I'm, I feel like I was, but it was again, maybe Ages. 15 years ago when I first started fishing salt I don't, water. I think that boat's new though. Oh, maybe Southern Comfort is, but. Yeah, they have a couple boats down there, so it's really great. Yeah, and, uh, it was fun. It was a great day, yeah, awesome. We gotta jump on the hot bite next time and get out, out there a second. That's a catch and a Yeah, we start hit, you can watch them on Facebook and see. But um, yeah, and, and guys, don't forget about, you know, it's the holidays and, you know, I wanna keep harping on it, but, and we'll stop after the holidays, but. Yeah. Just go on the website. Yeah, please go on the website and we'd appreciate it. There you go. <laughs> Easy and simple. Link down below. But this is amazing, delicious. Again, I can really taste the sun-dried tomato mm. mixture with it. It's just really complements the dish very well. And uh, the asparagus, I like to eat it with like every bite of fish and the sauce. It's just amazing. Of course, can't forget the land shark. Oh my God, I forgot how good this was. It was so good. Sound like a pig stuck in the mud. <laughs> I don't even care. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. We had a lot of fun. Comment down below if you want to see us on Drift Boats again in the future. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. Really good. Mm -hmm.